Okay, so you can use your calculator for this, okay, for our question one. So we're looking at the practice test here. All right, so what is five divided by six? Punch in your calculator hook. Are you in your calculator there? Yes. You said so five. Point, yeah. Five divided by six is 0 0.3. What is four divided by five? Four divided by five. Secret was four divided by five. That's 0 0.8. Yeah. This is already 1.2. What is seven divided by 10? It's going to give you 0 0.7. So it's from the least to greatest. So what does least? You know, I think the word is the word that confuses most people. Least means from the smallest yeah. to the biggest. All right. So what's the smallest of these numbers? You know, now this is decimals. All right. So the smallest here is the 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. And followed by what? 0. 0. 0.7. Followed by 0. 0.8. Yes. Followed by 0. 0.83. Then followed by uh, 1.2. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. So this is 0. 0.6. This 0. 0.7 is 7 over 10. So you have to now replace it back to the fraction value. Are you with me? This is 4 over 5. This is 5 over 6. So zero point this is what four over five, and this zero point eight three is five over six, then one point two. So this will give us what a. Do yeah. you see that? Yes, I get that. Is the correct answer is a. Uh -huh. Sikra, do you see that? Yes, uh, Miss Blessing. Can you also look at number seven? Yeah. No problem. I will. I, we are going. We are going to go through it together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because right. Srika got the right answer, but it marked this somehow wrong. I don't know why. What is you said the first seven? This one or you? Yeah. Thank you. What was your answer? Ninety-six. Ninety-six. I have the same answer. C. But it marked as wrong for him. Oh, oh it okay. if it's right or wrong. Hold on, let me check that. Okay, let me clear this. Okay. Uh, I will try right now and open the test to see if it tell me if it's right or wrong. So, Are you tell me at the same time or so until I finish? Come again? What did you say, Ali? I said it's going to tell me if I'm right or wrong at the same times, like every question or until I finish. Yeah, until you finish. That's why I was asking that when you click submit, it should show you all your answers. Just like secret, right? Secret, is that what happened? When you click submit, it showed you all your answers, right? Uh, did it show? I did not know. Okay, it showed. Okay. What is the answer for number seven? It's nine. It's nine. Yeah, it's ninety-six. So it shows here that he marked as C, but he marked as failed. Hold on. Oh, you can see it's ninety six. Okay, so, I think I didn't. I didn't put the 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 correct one here. It's ninety six. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. But he got it marked as wrong. Oh, okay. Maybe it should be a typo from my own end. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. But it's ninety six. Okay. Okay. All right. You can see immediately you you do it the solutions are given here can you see that ali yeah okay so it means maybe your internet wasn't working well because there's a way google form works um you can be working and you're offline and it still behaves as if you're still it's still online 
you get. When you submit, it should give you your feedback. It should give you the correct answers and the solutions, how you should do it. Can you see? Yeah. I did it yeah. this morning, 9.30, but I don't know. Yeah. So it's yeah. the explanations are here. Sikra, you saw the explanations, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so which I want you to just let me know because we have 50 questions here. So point out, let me know, um, Ali, can you go through the questions? Let me know the ones you have, you had difficulty in. Sikra also, let me know the ones you have difficulty in. Okay, let me see the link. For, for Sri Kaur, I'm seeing difficulty with uh, the fractions, you know, the mixed numbers. Of yeah. Uh, he's got them wrong. Okay. I uh, see he got, uh, uh, let me see. Okay, he didn't get this one. Okay, let, let's, let's go to... Yeah. So you said the fractions. Is it this ones, right? Yeah, those are all, all of them. Okay, okay. Okay, so um, Ali, are you with me? Yes. Uh, this one, I think I get it right. Okay. So let's look at how to do this. Okay. So there, there are two ways you can do this. All right. You can take these two, add them. You can do four plus three, the whole numbers. Then yeah. plus, you put in parentheses, one over two plus three over four. You can do it this way. Where four plus three is seven, then plus, you look at these two and you find the LCM. Remember, LCM, least common multiple. All right, what's the least common multiple of two and four? Mm. Do you remember? Is what? So I, do you remember how to find least common multiple? Remember how I taught it, Ali? Do you remember? Yeah, he does it with the with the. Uh, he, no, don't add like that. Okay, add like that. Let, let's see how he does. So, how do you add half plus three quarters? What do you mean? You said first uh, to note them, and then we see uh, which shock. I give you example. Uh, if it's six, you how many multiple it has? No. When we look at least common multiple, that's your LCM. All right. So you look at the multiples of two. Multiple. All right. What are the multiples of two? You have one times two, which will give you two. Four. You have Two yeah. times two, which will give you four. Mm -hmm. You have two yeah. times three, which will give you six. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You're looking for multiples. To get four. All right? Then four, mm -hmm. we, we, we can stop here. Then the multiples of four is four times one, which will give you four. Four times mm -hmm. two, which will give you eight. Four times three, which will give you 12. So from here, you now find the least common the least common multiple from both of them, which is the smallest number. And we, we, are, we already have four here. So we have four here, four here. We can see that this is common to both numbers. Are you with me? So this four is the least common multiple. Ali, do you remember? I am. Right? Yes. Sikra, are you with me? Do you remember? Least common multiple. I explained it the last class. Okay. So the least common multiple of two and four is four. So you put four here. All right. And you say two. How many twos can we get from four? How many two? two right yes you can get two then you now use that two to multiply one Ten. times one. it gives you two plus four in four we go one times Ten. right 
Are you with me, Ali? Yes. And that one times three will give you three. Do you see that? This is yes. one way of using the least common multiple. Another way to do this, which I think you are going to like, and which is more friendly, is to make them have the same denominator. No. Okay. To make these two have the same denominator. All right. So this is four. We can make this two to become four. And the way to make two to become four is to do times two. Okay. And whatever you do to your denominator, you also do to your numerator. So when you do times two, you do times two here. So this gives you what? Two over two times two, four plus three over four. So you now have the same denominator. When you have the same denominator, it is now you can now add your numerators. So two plus three is what? Five. So you have five over four. That's your answer for this. You can see it's the same thing here. Five over four. Yeah. Ali, do you see that? Yes, I see it. Because this one's a little difficult when I see three numbers, four and then one over three plus three yeah. oh, and then three over four. I need to know which one I'm supposed to multiply with. Which one, which one is easy for you, this one or this one? It looks like the second one. The second one is easy. So, okay, I'm going to use the easy one now. So let mm -hmm. me do it again. Let me do it again. So what you do is you add the whole numbers, which is 4 plus 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. You bring the fractions 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4. So you have to look for a way that the denominators are the same numbers. All right. You already have a bigger number here, 4. You can make 2, this 2 to become 4. And the way to make 2 to be, become 4 is to multiply by 2. Are you with me? Yes. So whatever you do to this 2, to the num uh, denominator here, you must do to the numer uh, numerator. That's the top number. So you mm -hmm. also multiply this by 2. Okay? So mm -hmm. this plus this is 7 plus 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is what? 4. Then plus 3 over 4. So when you have the same denominator, then in fraction, you can now add the top numbers. So this gives us 7 plus 2 plus 3 is 5 over 4. And finally, our answer is 7 over number 5 over 4. Do you mm. see that? Yes. And which is what? A. Secret, do you see that? That means my answer is right. I chose A. Good. You can also use your calculator to do this. Secret, yes. are you there? Uh, I want to ask a question. Okay. When I see fraction, you said uh, to multiply the bottom one with two to make it common. It, even if it's like minus or multiply. If it is minus, yes. Or well, if it's multiplication, no, you can't use this. You can you can use this if it is minus or plus you can use this method but when it's multiplication division that's a different thing entirely okay okay are you with me like yeah. let's do this i wait hold on i don't know is it is secret is secret here which problem was do you have hello yes 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 we are here Oh, okay. All right, so let's look at this together. So this is six. So you bring out the six, then minus two plus three over eight minus one over six. Okay, so this is four plus. So now this is eight, this is six. Can you see that? Ali. Yes. So we need to make our denominator the same number. 
so we need to multiply eight by something and multiply six by something for them to give us the same number what do you think that would be if we did okay uh just give me a minute four times six 24. good and then three times eight 24. good so times so eight times three four times six so whatever you do here you must do to the top so this will be times four this will be what times three okay so three times three is nine over eight times uh three is 24 minus one times four is four over six times four is 24. okay so we have four whole number uh plus what is nine now we can just quickly do nine minus four that will give us five so five over 24. so finally answer is four whole number five over 24. do you see that this is yes. our answer. yeah i want to ask another question okay when you said i just find out right now anything you do with the uh bottom you do with the top or we anything we do with your top to do with the bottom the first one yeah. multiply by three the second one will multiply by four yes okay it doesn't matter you don't have to multiply like the six by three and then the eight by three i thought it have to be multiplied by four both the four numbers no no uh, it's whatever you do to whatever you do to the bottom is what you do to the same top okay. of that fraction okay so okay. if you do six times four then this top will be one times four okay yes. so whatever affects the bottom affects the top it doesn't affect the other fraction no uh okay because it comes okay. with me when i did okay four times i give you example when i did four times eight and then four times six four times eight is gonna it's going to be 32. yeah I thought it's supposed to be the same but now you explain it to me it's separate three over eight by itself and one over six by itself yes thank you yes because this has to be 24 this has to be 24. are you with me it can be different numbers if it's different numbers then you cannot you cannot do nine minus four or whichever operation that is here you have to have the same denominator are you with me before yeah. you can perform the operation yeah all right this, yeah because this one is the most confusing fraction oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> i i get your point okay so when you do eight when you you've gotten that eight times three will give you 24 then you also have to multiply whatever is on the top with the same three okay when you you've gotten that six times four will give you 24 you also multiply whatever is at the top with the same four that's what you do all right okay and then we minus the top yeah then we minus the top five minus four which gives us what i know nine minus four which gives us five mm -hmm. are you with me yeah another uh, way okay yeah can you give us this week more fraction okay you want more fractions yes i need to understand more okay no problem i'll give you more I think Thank there's you. more. There's, I gave you more questions on fractions here. Okay. Yeah, I, I will. Miss Blessing. Yes. I think he needs help with uh, scientific and uh, standard also. Okay, no problem. I'm coming there. Okay. Okay, look at more here. But no problem. I'll give you more fractions. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll drop it in the, the Google Classroom. Yeah. Because I oh. think fraction is like the one is confused me a lot. The scientific method is good. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Okay. So now let's look at the scientific notation. Are you with me, everyone? Yeah. Okay, good. So secret, so look closely. It says write 5,600 in scientific notation. Scientific notation means on the power of 10. Okay. As I said, you have 5,600. You start from here. 
the last number and you count to your left all right you count one two three you stop at the the you stop in front of the last number okay so that gives you three so that will be 5.6 times 10 raised to power three it's because you moved this three times that's in tens secret do you see that yeah. okay so this would be the answer for this which is a let's look at another one down here So it says here, 0 0.0089 in scientific notation. So this is in decimal, not whole number, okay? So we have to move it this way, yeah. okay, to our right. So you count one, two, three, four. You stop at the last number, in front of the last number. Are you with me? And you move four times because this is a decimal number and you move to your right. The power of 10 will be negative. Okay. So this will be 8.9 times 10 raised to the power negative four. Wow. Okay. Do you see that secret? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 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 Good. Uh, now, secret, you're going to do the next one. Okay, this is standard. This is standard notation. Secret, do this one, number 19. Okay, what would be the answer here? Write your answer. Ali, you say you're good with this, right? How many zeros? One. Yes. Two, four, okay. five, six. Okay, where did she say you have to start? Okay. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven. Okay, so write your answer. Mm -hmm. And which one is that? What answer is it? C. C? Yeah. Okay. Good job. That's correct, secret. All oh, right. Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. Is C? Why C is six? Uh, I see six zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven, seven, seven. Sorry. Yes, seven. You have to stop in front of the last number. Okay. Good. All right. Because it actually, I know most people will just count only the zeros and just quickly put B. No, it's wrong. You have to stop here. It's 4.7. So you still shift another one. All right. So the answer here is what? C. Okay. Mm. Okay. You said stop before the seven. Before the four. Before the four, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That means and you, yeah. And you would see it in the option. This is 4.7. Okay. So mm -hmm. when it, it, the, the decimal point ends at four, you have to count mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means I'm wrong. It shows B. I thought it's six. No, Eight. no. You see. Okay, secret uh, standard notation is that all? Okay, so secret now for standard notation, what you do is this now it says convert this to standard notation. So standard notation is just your standard numbers, how you write your decimals, how you write your whole numbers. Okay, so when it says ten raised to the power minus three, so it means once it's negative. We are going to move to our left. So we count one, two, three. You put your point here, you put a zero here, then you put your zeros here. So you have 0 0.00324. Mm -hmm. One, two, two, three. Three, and you put the decimal here. Do you see that, Sigrid? Zero, yeah. Okay, yes. so the answer here is B, okay? Now, let me give you. Can you the, do 21? I don't get one. 22. Okay, no problem. We're going, we're going there now. Yes, scientific presentation. 
Okay. Uh, secret, can you can you guys try this now? Which one? Number twenty. Okay, write it down, sweet one. Twenty. Four point times ten to the power of what? Ten to the power of negative five. Negative five. Okay. So one negative five goes left. One, two, three, it's four, five. Okay. B. Good job. Four, five, okay. Six. How many zeros do you have? Four zeros. Four, five, six. What's your answer? B. Good job, Sita. Good job. Now, try number 21. 21. Where are you down? Okay, so write it down. One, two, three, four. It's me. So? B. B, yeah. Good job. Good job. So do you understand now, Ali? <laughs> yeah, but I don't understand 22. Present. So you have point zero 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 point six seven. So you count four times one, two, three, four. Oh, I know why you don't get it. I didn't finish 22. You tell me right now. Okay. I find out now. I will do it again and then send it to you. Okay, no problem. Okay. So. So 22, it says one minus. 0 0.007 so you just put 1.000 okay then 0 0.0075 you can put a zero here so you know one is greater than this right yeah Sikra? what is it he, he got the right answer he subtracted correctly. okay okay good good okay so it's good he knows how to to do this without the calculator because this can come out in the non-calculator section yeah it's, it's good he also knows how to do this without calculator so to do this ali let's mm -hmm. do it together so these yeah. are zeros we can subtract five from a zero so right. what do we right. we have to do we right. have to borrow a one mm -hmm. so we borrow this one right. to here it becomes yeah. 10 we have to now borrow another one from here this becomes 10 this becomes a 9. we have to borrow another one from here this becomes 10 this becomes a 9. we have to now borrow another one from here this becomes 10 this becomes a 9. so finally we have 10 minus 5 which gives us 5. Nine. yeah we have 9. 9 minus 7 gives us a 2. two. yeah we have 9 nine minus zero gives us a nine oh. and nine minus zero gives us a nine point this is zero here because we've borrowed so this should be what yeah, zero yeah. okay so our answer here is a ali do you see that yes good. Now I good uh, you will send, you will send us the video for today yes i'll send the video yeah it's recorded i'm gonna drop it in the in the google classroom okay okay thank you all right okay so which other question you had difficulty in sikra ali which other question i think this these are quite straightforward for you to do wait i will, I will check wait. so the what questions we he cannot use the calculator uh mostly the word problems and you know this is uh mostly for basic maths the fractions you might not not all you'll be able to use the calculator on uh which other ones again sometimes exponents like cubes and 
square roots, you might you might see them in your first five questions. Are you with me? Yeah. I think this yeah. yeah. So your word oh. problems uh you would use it's just five questions and they're usually basic maths. Excuse Are you with me? me? Yeah. Can we do thirty three? Okay. Sikra, is there any other question? Yes, 30, 30, please. 30, okay. So all this, everyone is good with all this, right? Yeah. Yes, this one, I don't have problem. Okay. 30. Is it this, 30? Yeah. Okay. This one, I use the calculator. You use the calculator, right? <laughs> yeah, to do this, we have 0 0.125. You, you can just divide divide where your your decimal point is put a one then you have one two three numbers put a zero look at that so yeah. you know you are now have one two five over one thousand yeah so from from here now you can now um check um reduce it so you can do 25 25 would go in here it will go in here like uh how many times six times all right 25 would go in 1000 how many times uh, okay let me not use 25 let, let me use something easy easier let us start with 125 over 100 let's start with five five will go in 125 uh 25 times 25 times uh, I think the first, one, the first one's 40. 40 times 25 is 1,000. Yeah. Okay. It will go. It will go. Oh, come again. What did you What did you say? You get 200 at the bottom. Yeah, we'll get 200. But Ali, what did you say? You said 40? No, I'm talking about the first one. Oh, 125. I thought you said 25. Oh, no. Okay, okay. So, and 25 would go here one times, and 25 would go here how many times? Eight, Eight times. times. Okay? So, you can see we've reduced this to the fraction. So, our answer here is C. So, this he can do with the calculator. Yes, he can do without the calculator. And this is how you do it. No, All right? So, they let him do with the calculator, right? Come again? Can he use the calculator? I think it's always it's always good you 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 know how to do without a calculator first. You know they let us use the calculator, but it's good if you know how to do it without yeah. the calculator. Oh, but the yeah. truth, they give it to you. It's okay. You live in Brooklyn. If you live in Brooklyn, yeah. Okay. Thirty-one then. Thirty-one is opposite. Yeah. So, so for thirty-one. So you put a one. So 31, all you need to do is, is 0 0.8. So where your dot is, you put a 1. Then you have, just have one number here, so it should be a 10. So you have 8 over 10. So oh. we reduce this by 2. 2 would go here 4 times. 2 would go here 5 times. So we can't reduce again. So our answer here is 4 over 5. Okay. Do you see that? Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You put on Any problem here? Take off this. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, 33. 33, right? Yes. Okay. So here you have 0. 0.85 minus 1 over 2. That is minus 0. 0.5, 0. What, 5, right? Mm -hmm. You have to change this. This is a, a a mixed fraction change to improper fraction. I hope you remember one over number three over five. You do five times one, which will give you five, then plus three, which will give you eight. So that will be eight over five. Do you remember? I think you asked about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is how you convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. Okay. You do five times one, yeah. five times one, five. then plus three. That gives you eight. Then you divide by this same five. Ali, do you see that? 
Yes. So what is 8 divided by 5? That gives you 1.6, right? Mm -hmm. What is 19 divided by 10? 19. That gives us 1.9, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then this is negative 1.6. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. So now we have to arrange this from the least to greatest. That's from the smallest to the greatest, to the biggest, okay? So we have negative numbers here. Remember in our number line, sorry, when this is, hold on. Our number line, when this is this, this is zero, this is a positive one, positive two, positive three. It's a negative one, negative two negative three so from here um the least to greatest is from this direction the smallest to greatest okay from this direction on our number line so uh why does 1.6 fall 1.6 falls somewhere here right is everyone with me Yes. Sikra, are you with me? Yeah. Okay. You will get questions like this, so I want everyone to listen, please. One point six falls here. Yeah. Smallest two. Negative negative zero point five falls here. And the next number we have is 0.85. It will fall somewhere here. 0.85. Then the next will be 1.6. 1.6 will fall somewhere here. Okay. 1.6. Then 1.9 will, will fall somewhere here. So you can see this is the smallest to the greatest. So let's arrange. We have negative 1.6, comma, negative 0.5, comma, 0 0.85, comma, 1.6, and 1. Point what, 9. So this is the way we're going to arrange it. Do you see that? Miss Blessing, can you give more problems like this? Yes, there. That means I think, uh, I think I have, which I have one? More. Come again? That means the answer is A? Yes, the answer is A. Okay. Can okay. you give problems like this? Okay, I'll I'll take notes now. So um Ali, you said you need more problems on fraction and you need, yes. uh, Sikra, you need more problems on this. Okay, good. Least to greatest, greatest to least. Yes. Because yes. it's the yes. wording. Yes. And all these conversions he has to do. Yeah. Yeah. So this you'll be given calculator. You would, I'm sure this is in the calculator section. Okay. So you can always use your calculator to change to the decimal. Yes. All right. Then yes. when it now involves your negatives, if you don't want to get confused, just mm -hmm. draw your number line. I, I think right. his problem will be after converting and he can tell the order, he won't find the original numbers. That's the problem. Okay, okay, okay. So what he the, what he should do now is when you get when you arrange, then what is your 0 0.5? Your 0 0.5 is the negative, sorry. Is it uh, negative uh, one over two? Yeah. Okay, your 0 0.8 is still the same. Your one whole number, 3 over 5, is the 1.6. So he writes it like this. Yeah. Then your 1.9 is in 19 over 10. Okay, so they do it this way to confuse students. Okay. okay. So once he gets his, his answer written like this in decimal, then he goes, let him just quickly go up and write the fraction, the fraction equivalent of the, of the decimals okay yeah don't worry i'll send i'll send more questions on this okay yeah thank you yeah, thank you all right all right so which other i hope we understand our approximation rounding to the nearest hundred to the nearest ten because it's important all right yeah. because the ged questions might not it might not give you uh it might not come straight like this round to this it come in the word problem and 
the question will finally say, please round your answer to the nearest hundred, hundred thousands or, or to the nearest tenth. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do we do we get do we get our approximation well? Yeah. Sikra, are you are you okay with it? Huh. Where is your approximation, Sikra? Where did you do approximations? Well, you got all these word problems wrong. Hmm. Okay, approximations. Hmm. Ali, any other place you you found difficult? Eh? Uh, can we do 46? 46. Okay. Mm -hmm. 46. Okay. So we we all got all this, right? Right? Word pro all of the word problems, I think he is struggling with word problems. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's start from here. 43. So who who did this? So this says a bottle of juice costs three ninety nine and contains 50, 15 sevens. Okay, what is the cost of one seven to the nearest cent? So a bottle of juice three ninety nine contains fifteen seven. So we want to know the cost of one seven. So that would be what? Which operation are we going to use to find the cost of one seven? Which one do you do? Who Which did one? this? Ali, divide. what did you? I divide. Okay. Uh, good. 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 When you when you divide, what do you get? You have three point nine nine divided by fifteen. Three point nine nine divided by fifteen. It gives you twenty six point two six six. But it yes. now says you don't stop here. It says seven to the nearest cent. Look at this. You are oh, approximated. Yes. So Sorry. if you go if you go quickly and pick C, you're wrong. Yes, I did. I pick C. You're wrong. Mm. Because it says to the nearest cent. So if you do it with you have to you have to you have to approximate. Then it will so to the nearest means cent means six. You should you well, yeah. Yes, this is the same. A cent a cent ends here right mm -hmm. are you with me so yes. if your cent ends here immediately after your cent ends what is the next number is it up to five What's or it? greater than five it is yeah. greater than five yes. so you can approximate a one here yeah. so okay. you can add a one plus a one so that gives you 0 0.27 do you see that yeah, uh, okay. yeah. so your answer is b so you have to be careful with your final question. So what is the cost of one seven to the nearest cent? Are you with me? Yes. If it's less than a five. It's if it's less than a five, then it's going to be, it's, it's, your answer is going to be 0 0.26. You okay. can't approximate. If it's a five, you approximate. Okay. The, the time, <clears throat> the rule on approximation is, the number before that particular number, if it is up to five, if it is equal to five or greater than five, you can approximate. But if it is less than five, all right, you cannot approximate a one. Okay? So if it was a four, your answer will be 0 0.26. Do you get that? Yes. How many questions in the GED math? G. Come again? How many questions actually in the exam? 40, 45, some, some do see 43, 40, uh, 42. Questions? Yeah. In the GED math, in the GED exam? Yes, in the exam. Oh, okay, good. Okay. What's the problem? Why are you asking? You know, how much time do they give? I think it's uh, I think it's one fifty minutes. So that's like that you can that's make. Like, uh, come again? No, I said uh, she uh, she can make uh, ged.com and explain to you everything. 
Yeah, yeah. But it's one fifty. It's one fifty minutes. Well, uh, and how many questions in 150 minutes? Hold on, hold on. One minute. Let me get my facts checked well. Yeah, sometimes it's 115, not 150. 115 minutes. Okay? okay. It's 115 minutes. So that's like uh, one hour. Uh, 60 one hour uh one hour 45 minutes okay uh, sometimes you get you you see you get like five no. questions for the uh, non-calculator section the 41 questions so some people do see 46 questions so it depends all right <clears throat> do you see that yes so that's the breakdown is in the is in the google classroom i give a breakdown of it Mm -hmm. Okay. But these questions I gave you, these 50 questions are just our first week. Okay. Our first, the first week, all the topics we did. So these are questions to the GED, GED sample questions on well, those topics. Are you with me? Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is the first week GED sample um, uh, questions on those topics. So um, by tomorrow, I'm going to um, send, uh, you know, your videos and practice for day six. That's the second week. So I, I noticed that, you know, if I send it, so what I'm going to do now is when I send it a day, I'm going to give a break a day break before I send another day, another day's work. So you have maybe two days to focus on that particular topic. I don't know if that's okay. Yeah, it's okay because it gives us time to understand. Yeah, yeah because I, I, I see that it was, was too much. <laughs> I see that it was too much for everyone to, to do back to back to back to back you know reading each topics going through the video so i'm going to give you a two days for a topic two days for for those for that particular topic and the practice for you to do then after you do that we do another practice test again on those topics okay then okay. Our, our final when we are done with all the topics then there will be a final practice test that will contain all questions from all the ged topic Okay, so you're going to get like standard exam questions. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's look at 44. So it says here, a ribbon is 12 inches long. If you cut off three, three quarter inches, what will be the new length of the ribbon in inches? So what do we do here? 12. The ribbon is how much? Ali, what did you do here? Cut off means one. Minus. Yeah, you minus, you subtract. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good job. So this is quite straightforward. All right. So we do, let's do it together. So that will be 12 mm -hmm. and a half minus three. Mm -hmm. three. three so mm -hmm. that will be 12 mm -hmm. minus three. <clears throat> 12 minus three. Mm -hmm. Then plus mm -hmm. half minus mm -hmm. three over four. So we have to make this the same as four, right? So we multiply two, multiply two. Okay. okay. Nine. What does this give us? Mm. Okay. You see now, for something like this, look at this. For something like this, this isn't going to work. Okay. So what we do is, sorry. We have to. I don't care. Finish this first. Okay. You have to finish this. Let us change this misfraction to okay. improper fraction. No, you can't All right. do the class. So we do two times this, that's 24, and 24 plus one, that will give us 25 over two, minus three times four, Please that'll give us 12, and 12 plus three, that'll give us what, 15 yes, over 10. four. Nine. All right? 
So from here now, yeah, we have to find the LCM. All right. What's the yeah. LCM of two and four? Twenty. Is two and four is eight. Ali. Two, four, six, eight, four. Ali, what's the LCM of two and four? What's the LCM? Uh, yeah. What's the LCM? Four. Okay. So hello, two, four, Ali, one. are you there? Yeah. To get four, what do you do? Two. Times. I lost her. How do you get four? Hello. Hello, are you with me? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. What is it? To get four, you multiply by two. Yeah. So you multiply okay. numerator also by two. Okay. I said, what's the LCM of two and four? Yeah. Two and four? You got yeah. Two. What's the LCM? What is that? I don't, I don't get it. Yes. What's the LCM of two and four? We're doing fractions here. Yeah. Divide by four. Yeah. What's oh, or better still, it's what two? can we multiply? No, 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 no. I, I think you, you have to watch. You, you, you haven't really gotten LCM. Mm -hmm. Please go back to the class for LCM, please. I want to watch those videos again. Okay. Are you with me, Ali? Yes. Please go back and watch those videos, and I'll give you more practice questions on that. Okay? But if you want to do this, if we want to make this two denominator the same, you multiply by two. So you multiply by two. Okay? So this would be... Right. So this will be what? 50 over 4 minus 15 over 4. So what's 15 minus 15? One. I'll okay. give it 35, right? So that was 35 over. Oh, you four. said 50 minus 15. Oh, sorry. 50 minus 15 will give you 35 over 4. So you mm. have to still convert this. This is improper fraction. Do you know how to convert to a proper oh, fraction? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That means I get it. Yeah. Fraction. Yeah. So yeah. you've you find how many falls can we get in 35? How many falls? Yes. Ali, yes. how many falls can we get in 35? Uh, eight. Good. So that will be eight or number. What will be left? So that will be 32, right? Miss Blessing, sorry, Srika has to leave. Come again? Srika has to leave. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. He can okay. leave. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will send tomorrow's work on the Google Classroom. It's yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going oh. to are you going to go longer? Come again? Are you going to go longer in the class? Mm, not exactly, but I'm gonna drop the, the recording, the video recording in the Google Classroom. Okay. In case you want to go through. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, Ali. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. So eight, eight, right? So you have, mm -hmm. and that that is it goes. Uh, that's eight times four is thirty-two. So you subtract mm -hmm. thirty-two from thirty-five. What do you have? When you subtract thirty-two from thirty-five, what do you have? Three. Three. So you have three over four. Oh, okay. This is how we do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. Okay. So your answer is what? A. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm going to also show you how to do this on your GED calculator. Okay. Thank you. In the next class, I'll try to get uh, just, okay. I have, I have my physical calculator, but the digital calculator i haven't i haven't subscribed on on it yet i have to go purchase the key to you know no. it's it's it just expired so i have to purchase another key okay when i i'll, I'll do that uh, i'll do that soon and yeah. um teach you teach everyone how to use your calculator to just do this so you don't waste time okay okay, okay thank you all right so which other question i think you said number what 46 is it it 
Yeah, 46. Yeah, 46. I need to know when uh, the word, like when they give you a word problem and then the end they say how, how many do you supposed to multiply or to divide or to add? Look at it. It says a tailor has eight yards of shirt fabric. How many shirts can he make if each shirt requires this yard? How many shirts can he make? It's, it can be multiplied. If he has a total of eight yards and uh, one shirt requires one, one three quarter, let's say the size of one three quarter is this. So it's asking how many shirts can we now make from this, this total eight yards? So it's division. Do you see that? To guess how many you will make, since we, we know that one shirt will take this amount of yards, is to divide. So it will be eight divided by one three quarter. Are you mm. with me? Yes, I'm with you. Okay. And uh, one, one three quarter is eight divided by 1.3 uh, over four. Three over four. I think three quarter is uh, 7.5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three over four is 7.5. So one three quarter is 1.75. So when you punch in your calculator, eight divided by 1.75, you're going to get 4.5. All right. Oh. So, uh, that means I'm wrong. Uh, so, I did something different. What did you do? I did 1.75 times 8. I get 14. And then I divide the 14 by 2. I get 7. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. You divide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So from here, how many shirts he can make is just, uh, it's just only four shirts. That's what he can make. Are you with me? Because when you yeah. divide 8 over 1.7, it gives you 4.5. So four whole shirts. All right, you can't make half shirts. So the shirt that mm -hmm. this fabric can make with each of the shirts requiring one three quarter yards is what four shirts. Are you with me? Yes, I'm with you. Okay, not five shirts. It can't be five shirts because we got 4.5. All right, so it can only be four whole shirts can make. So this leftover, you know, you just throw it away. You know, it's like waste. Yeah. Uh, can we do 47 too? Okay. So, so he said, Mr. Wilson has 48 pounds of flow. He wants to package them in bags containing three and a half pounds each. How many bags? Will Mr. Wilson be able to pack package? So, what do you think we'll do here? To divide the forty-eight by three point five. Yeah. So, just look. You know what problem is like. You, 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 you think about it. You, you are in your in your house. You have a bag of of floor, and you mm -hmm. have you have nylons that 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 weigh uh uh three and a half pounds each you you see on the bag the bag of floor that it is 48 pounds then in the small bags mm -hmm. it says three and three and a half then you you want to go to the market to buy more of these the small bags how many will you buy how many you know you have to do that calculation too from home so how many will you buy i'm asking 13. you that huh uh do you mean like which one i chose i chose 13 b Okay, so what you do is just divide, okay? Yes. So this division you do, 48 divided by 3.5. Yes, I did that. Okay, so that's and 48. I get 13. Yeah. And you're going to get 13. Okay, so 13. All right. So the yeah. amount of bags you will buy is... Okay, mm -hmm. how many bags will Mr. Wilson be able, okay, to package? Okay, okay, good. So 13 bags. All right, okay. good. Okay, good job. 
So which other question? Mm, I think we good. Let me You're try. good. Okay, good. So I want you to also try the test again since you didn't submit. All yeah, right. you know, Robin, I told you I forgot uh, two questions. I supposed to finish them all. I left two. I said I'm going back to them, and then I forgot. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't submit. Yeah, because yes. everything is compulsory for you to do. So yes. that's why. So please, can you redo it again so I just have your records? Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. So see you next week. I'll send. Happy. I'll send things that you're going to do. And also more practice on uh, fractions for you. And please, what well, do watch the video on least common multiple and greatest common factor? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I'm good with the greatest common factor. Okay, it's the least common multiple, right? Yes, I have. I'm still like confused. Yeah, please do watch that. All right. Thank okay. you. Good night. All right. Good night. Take care.